What is up everybody? Welcome back to the TRCBY show. Today we have a patch update with brand new events and all the good stuff here. So let's take a look at that real quick. So bingo is back. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> bingo event where you could uh, get some good loot. And what I really like is this and this and this and maybe this. And, of course, like, a lot of stuff is pretty good. I don't really need the keys. 500 keys is quite generous, but, you know, I have, like, 6,000. Quite a bit. So, make sure you log in. Do this is the best time to start working on your equipment. And just pick any random stuff. So, what I like to do every now and then, maybe once a week, go through, like, my main weapons or my sub-weapons. Just click on this and just click through, ooh, hey, click through to find out what you could enchant. And that's what I've been doing, just going through all of my, uh, my, ooh, hey now, <laughs> all of my weapons, sub-weapons, armors, and all that jazz. Just do like a rapid click just to see what you could enchant and whatnot. And then go to your armor, just click on that. Ooh, hey, enchant that up, yeah. Sweet. So yeah, just make sure that you always kind of uh, keep an eye out for enchanting your stuff. Because that's always good. And we just totally blew past this. The T3 Warlord. <laughs> I'll, I'll drop um, a clip of it because I captured it on my cell phone. And um, yeah. Okay. So, we got ourselves a, a T3 Warlord, and I was just super stoked and excited because we are kind of now done, quote, air quote, done with this particular workshop because we completed it. So, we're just going to keep this open because we have four more uh, disintegration remaining until the next level. And then, at the next level will be level 7 and more items will open for us so I'll definitely post that once we finish these four which is all sweet all good stuff so collection equipment get your uh, medals oh my goodness we are so close to being the sage we are close Ooh, hey 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 what else what else here yeah we'll take you and what else is there in the armor section, please? Thank you very much. Check this out. The only thing that we do not have is a legendary divine wolf. And that is a craft from Bianca. Speaking of craft, we should take a look into that. Ooh, that's pretty good defense. Crit rate. That is awesome. So the more you crit, the harder you hit. <laughs> So, yeah, burn damage reduction 67. Wow, that is pimping. That That's pretty good. All right, so let's take a look at Bianca. We haven't visited Bianca in quite some time. And we've done some recipe requests, crafting. I think I want to do, no, I need to do, what is that? The Flame Lord. Look at this. We have enough mats to craft an Advent Flame Lord. Should we do it? I think we should. Add another one to our collection. Let's see it. Boom. Boom. And a boom. Let's go. Come on, little guy. Bam. Ooh, that red. Check that out. You guys are the first as, you know, with me seeing this. This is the Flame Lord. The armor itself looks amazing. At least I think it looks amazing. But stat-wise, maybe not the best. But... It just looks pretty pimping. Burn damage reduction right now, 11%. Defense, flame resistance, HP, and all that jazz. So what does it do? Let's take a look at it. Let's go out. Oh, man, if we had another one, then we could have crafted another one. But I think there is a request for cooldown because we can't craft 
until five days and eight hours until our next crafting is available. So that is that. So let's go back into our equipment, grab a little bit of this, grab a little bit of my metal missions. Where was that? Right here. Yeah, we can take that. We we'll take that again. We we'll take that again. Oh yeah. All right. And where is? I think that is it for here. I think this is looking very nice. So twenty eight six seventy seven. Ooh, we are so close to twenty nine one hundred for the Sage of the Tower. And then we also get this and Noah Stone upgrade. And this is ooh seven hundred and forty just by. They're, they give you so much, honestly. They give you so much, so much just to play the game. Let's pop this open. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we get. I think we also upgraded or leveled up as well too. Fire pennant. I think we have that already. So it turns right into a soul. And we also bumped up. Now our max material is 250. I'm not sure if that is part of the Pandora event, but... We're going to go all out. We're doing 250, 250, 250, and that will give us a rando of anything and everything. So let's go ahead and do that because I don't really like to focus on one thing at the moment. I need everything, and I believe I tried focusing on one thing in particular before, and it never yielded that great of a result. So that's all good. So there we go all rares at the moment which is fine uh, kind of because we want some legendaries here all right we did this Ooh, we got some more of this to craft and some gold to help us along the way gold is always good you can't get enough of gold so these gold pouches i like that they kept this in the game for as long as they did so that's nice so let's go into our inventory again bingo is up so the more you just Focus. This is the week that you want to focus on leveling up your gear. So right here, I want to level up my death scythe. I'm kind of close, very close. I just have one more material to go for the venom ghoul, and I am using the new blue stack version five. It still has the same issue, at least from my build right now. I may try checking it out on my laptop seeing what is up with this so you guys tell me if you guys are using blue stack or whatever it is and see something like this so i will show you what i'm talking about take a look at the uh the floors mapping the map is all whacked and sometimes i crash on it so that's why i have not check this out the map is whack <laughs> the map is a wacky whack so yeah not a big fan of this so i don't know what is going on with it it just makes the game look kind of fudgical even though the game is very pretty it's very quick that was way quick let's be honest that was pretty that was pretty fast at least to me i didn't kill the guy in one smite as uh, some people may have done but that was a lot of flashy flash moves over there so let's go ahead and bump it up so again bingo i think you can get 50 per day so make sure we just got three out of that one. So make sure you guys take this week just to level up all of your gears that you want. Because the more you do, the more bingo coins you will get. The more bingo coins you will get, the more loot you'll get, essentially. So let's go ahead and do some more of this one. As you guys notice, I am using, what is it, the, uh, the Skylark. So... The Skylark was one of the things that we were debating about. This one, this map, these type of map with zero terrain seems to work pretty well. And that's about it. But the other ones do not. And I'm like, what's up with that? So that is something to like ponder upon pondering. And I don't really understand why it does that. Like the other maps are just really fudge. Like, I don't know. Again, anything with terrain, it, I seem to have issues with. So I did a clean install of blue stack. I switched around my rams as well too, literally. And um, it still gives me this like weird map issue. And I'm like, dude, what's going on? 
And I also tried contacting Bluestack when I was using version 4. They said, no, let's uh, let's do a little, what is it, like a team team uh, meet where they want to remote into my computer. I'm like, no, nah, man. No one's going to remote into my computer. That's kind of, that's kind of whack, kind of sketch. Why do you need to remote into my computer just to tell me? Why can't you just verbally tell me what's going on and what stats or what what? Ever settings that you want me to like look at instead of like remoting in that's just weird at least I thought that was weird I'm not sure if anybody else tried having Bluestacks team remote into your computer to troubleshoot I just find that kind of like suspect a little suspicious right I don't know that's just me maybe they could help me out but I literally done everything I did full clear install have everything like the same of like their presets didn't change anything really and it's still you know it's still whack like the last map like any map sometimes it's black sometimes it's all red and I'm like what is happening here and it just recently started doing that too and I just don't understand why so if anybody has a fix for it please let me know that would be greatly appreciated but this is uh you know it doesn't make for good video it just makes for good complaining about it <laughs> but like not so much of like you know really showing off the game which is kind of a bummer because there's lots of uh little maps that i want to show you guys on it or like me doing more of it but um it just doesn't look good for the video yeah yeti <laughs> air juggling you there okay so this particular set not what you know you would use to maximize it but because again it's like uh he's not the strongest of boss so i get to uh get away with that so let's go ahead and bump it up again Ooh, so close to a t6 so very close can i get away with just this bleed set i think i can let's do that let's let's see if we can Usually I use a stun build for the skeleton bro, because it's just super quick and easy. I don't know if I could do a bleed set with this guy. I'm thinking I can. I think I can. I think I can. Let's see if I can. Who's to say? Who is to say? I'm going to kick you. I'm going to finish you off. Choo, 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 choo. Yeah, I guess I can. All right. So that is nice and quick. I just like this look. This uh, Templar like armor, it just looks really badass. It suits this weapon and like playstyle a lot, so I, I think that's why I did it. So after this, I just want to go over what is it the uh, the PvP world, right? And see what other people are using. I have received some pretty great comments on my accessories and the legendary stuff that I've had. So I did a a quick look before but I kind of want to show you guys what the top maybe five or the top ten players are using and what I could start investing in myself as well too just to maybe maximize what I currently have and uh, we'll go from there so let's uh let's finish this up get it up to a t6 okay look at that see I think if the map itself if everything was just raised like a millimeter it would show up for some reason like ev everything else the other type of terrains do show up like the bumps right but like the map itself the flatness part of it even though you know it's on a curve still like this hill I think it's still like a flat map so it doesn't show up but the extra terrains here they do show up because they're raised a little bit above it so everything above the base terrain shows up but not the main terrain so i don't know man i don't know what is up with that it kind of just looks kind of funky and i think before recently i've had some i think you guys saw the nurgle video where i was even playing on my cell phone where i would go like the animation just dropped me below the world map and it was just like really weird so it may have to do with something like that they did or readjusted the the game maybe it's just the game in itself 
So with that little tweak off, even playing on the mobile kind of messes up the uh, the experience here as well too. I don't know. I could just be making up stories, but I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was sticking to. So they messed something up. It could have been better. Oh, ooh, I've never been that high before. <laughs> that was pretty high. And that wasn't uh, due to any uh, anything else. All right, so we're going to go back. Here it is. We have worked our way up to a T6 death scythe. Here we go. Get that in. J -j 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 -a -ba -bam. I think there's an animation difference too, right? No? Yes? Let's see. No, not really. I think it, it looks badass as it is, so maybe there is no animation for it. Maybe it's a T7. I don't know. I thought it was a T6. I could be wrong, but I thought the T6... Oh, maybe it's a T7. Maybe it is a T7. Oh, man. Where uh, you get a different, like, um, weapon skin for it, where it bumps up. But, I don't know. I thought it was a T6. Again, I could be wrong. Or I could be right, and I just don't remember f for the life of me. All right, so let's take a pause for a second. But, again, take this week. Play bingo. You, you're kind of like playing bingo already if you're just playing the game all you need to do is just collect your bingo coins and you're good to go so let's take a look at pvp in the arena we go into the three versus three we're going to take a look at the top 100s so the top 100s real quick nazi from solaris let's view the info what are they using i think they are using what i was using before all right not their equipment it's the team setting adoi so we have this. We have the Terra Pendant. They're using a bleed set. They're using the Double Crescent. So Terra Pendant, I think I said this before, it is amazing to have full rage at the start in PvP. And I'm thinking they're using an Immortal Ring. So the Immortal Skin Ring, this right here gives you a lot of defense and a critical damage reduction. That's huge. So the Immortal Skin Ring for that. And then this person is using the Goddess Blessing, again, with critical resistance. So a lot of all damage reduction, a lot of defense in here for PvP. And that is a sick, sweet build. All at Enchant 6, all maxed, all capped out. And for the Karma, the I guess it's the Saint Knight King's Pulling. Uh, I don't know. Is, is that how you say that word? I'm not really sure. Pauline. So when down, you can immediately escape the down status by using a dodge. And I think that's fantastic. I need to work on that. So to get this, an all attack boost is 44.2%. And that is at a plus 5. And all damage reduction, 16.9. So crit damage, minus 25%. So you're dealing less damage in crit damage, but... This build is all defense, of course, because you are in PvP. So I do not have this just yet, and I do have to work on my Karma Gears. So yeah, so they're using this, the Void Walker, pumping a little poison, doing a little stun resistance. So all good with the double dodge here too. So they are maxed out, so they're looking pretty good. So let's go and take a look at number two, uh, Reverie. Okay, let's go to their team settings, little heart animation. So they have, this is the Immortal set. So this one is using the Death Sight, exactly what, what we have here. But they have at a plus three enchant in their Terra Pendant. So Terra Pendant is two again. So Rage Gain, a Start, and a Bleed Damage. Even though they don't have any bleeding companions or, or weapon, it is the rage it's all for the rage and pvp especially when you're like um you know defense so the immortal soul ring the other one's the immortal skin ring so this one is the break damage reduction so every time a enemy hits you right your super shield or super armor gets broken but at this it is reduced by nearly 20 percent so if a hundred like damage per se let's do that it takes a hundred of whatever your super armor it'll reduce it to like 80 essentially so i think that's great main elemental resistance 26 penetration 72 but the set in itself 
gives you this 15% HP boost. So HP in most games is king. So if you could live a little bit longer, you could win potentially. So one of the reasons why they're up there in the number two slot. All damage reduction, 12%, crit resistance, and damage reduction in PvE. So I guess it's not really applicable in PvP, but that's pretty good. So that's not too bad. So let's take a look at here. This is the Immortal Eye Belt. Down duration decrease 28%. Very, very good as well, too. So there you go, a lot of HP. And of course, they're using this as well, too. The Night King's Pauline. 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 <laughs> what is this? Pony. I don't know. Whatever. So they are using the Tiki and the Solar. Okay, all right. What is this little one? EXP gain, Petrified Damage Boost. Why are you using a Down Damage Reduction? It's for the Down Damage Reduction. Okay, so that's a lot. So that is that is a good amount. And that is Reverie. And for Falang, let's take a look at their team setting. Right here, they have a thorn pen. It's something a little bit different. It's a spike shield slash damage reflection boost. That's a lot. 43.7%. I'm not sure if I have that. I think that's a Bianca crafting. All attack is huge. 27.2%. That is something. And they have the Immortal Skin Ring. Very similar to the first one where they have a lot of defense and the crit damage reduction along with the physical attack. So no set on you. And they're also switching it up with a Goddess Blessing, which is the critical resistance and all damage reduction. So both of those are pretty good. Again, with the Void Walker. And then you have themselves a little Pegasus as well too. All right. Not too bad. Let's take a look at number four, Daluhasa. <laughs> Dalubhasa. That's an interesting name. All right. I hope I'm not butchering everybody. But a lot of these builds are very similar so far. So we went through like four or five of them. Now we have, again, the Terra Pennant, which is what we have. And we did work on that to get up to a T7, which is nice. So Rage Gain, 31%. Bleed damage boost on the Terra Pennant, it's just ridiculous. 84.3, but the all attack boost of nearly 30% on the T8 plus 6, that's a lot. And skin, uh, Immortal Skin Ring, again, this is the critical damage reduction, physical attack, and the defense. Again, the set is the 15% HP, and then on top of that, it's the all damage reduction of the 12%. And critical resistance by uh, 16%. So that is all good. So there you go. The Immortal Eye, 32% down duration decrease. And everybody, of course, has this in the top tier. So that is pretty good. That's looking nice. And for V Skezzy, <laughs> V Skezzy, let's just do the top five. There you go. So. This is the first bleed set that we saw. Everybody was the Death Scythe. No, not the first bleed set. I, I lied. So, Death Scythe, Double Crescent, and another Terra Pennant, and the Blind Berserker at a plus 9. So close, so close. 36.8% to crit damage, and 19% to physical attack boost, and along with the insane amount of physical attack from the ring, that's just great. And then the Saint Bird, which is the critical resistance. So they went with the Saint Bird for critical resistance versus the critical damage reduction. So I see that. It's not too bad. And then they're using a Rowan and also a Lady Grey in here. So that is pretty good. So everybody so far, as you guys can see, they're either using the Double Crescent or the Death Scythe in the top five. They are definitely using more of the Terra Pennant on the top five. So everybody, and then also the Immortal set. I'm going to have to work on my Immortal set because it looks really good. And everybody's using the Holy Saver as well too. Well, not everybody. Take that back. Not everybody's using the Holy Saver. It was a mix mix of uh, you know, armors and gears and stuff like that. But for the most part, they're using what they have, I would think, at this rate. 
and some people are better off than others let's just randomly go down to like the eighth one let's go take a look at uh gemini so gemini is using a shield hey look at that the vanguard shield which is protect barrier mighty defense shield barrier it's pretty good but the terror pendant uh pendant blind berserker and this the crimson edge i don't believe i have this is a bleed damage boost wow so this is all bleed damage boosts on everybody except for Meteora and a sword. The Wild Dog Dagger, all attack boosts of 28%, bleed damage boosts of 20%. That's great. That is amazing. So a lot of bleeding and of course the Void Walker. So the Void Walker I have, I have been working on that mainly as well too. So we've seen a lot of Void Walkers. We've seen, I think the Temporal, like, uh, yeah, Temple, uh, whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. So there you go. That is what more or less the top players are using. So let's see what I have and what I can focus on. So let's take a look at my necklace. The first thing is, yes, Terra Pendant, working on it. It's at a T7, not a T8 just yet, and it's at a 6. So, Max Enchant, I think this is very good for where I am as a player. I am nowhere in the top 100s at all. So, keep that in mind. I'm not, I'm not up there at all. So, Rings. So, Blind Berserker, T6, working on it, slowly but surely. But I also want to work on what everybody else was working on as well, too. Was the Immortal Skin Ring, which is right here. Immortal Soul Ring. So, I have two of those Immortals. So I think the skin ring I saw, mine is, it's so super low, it's not even, it's not even, <laughs> like there you go. So I need to work on this because the crit damage reduction helps. And also that set, going into that with more HP, 15% more HP, just keep that in mind, like that's a lot. So let's see, so there you go, just a little bit of that and go to the belt. So I do have the Goddess Blessing, which is the crit resistance. I could also use and start working that up. So that is at a T3. I have a lot of accessories that I do need to work on. So again, this is now is a wonderful time to start doing it because of the bingo. Just pick, just go down your list. Hey, I'm gonna work on this and I'm gonna work on this. So I also have the Immortal Eye Belt, which I noticed that people were using for the down duration decrease along with the defense. So I would like to work on that one as well too. And again, it's just for the set. So the set will give you this. Well, for me is a 10% HP boost and all damage reduction. The all damage reduction is gonna be key in keeping you alive, of course. But yeah, like that is, those are the the ones I really want to work out. I want to work on my Immortal set. And as we have like our bingo event going on here. And also just my main weapon of course. Just picking one and just you know. Focusing on that for a little bit. Then switching it up and so forth. But I would highly suggest that you guys do the same. Take advantage of this opportunity. During this fantastic little event. That is a pain in the butt for some. But it's, uh, I don't know, it was a pain in the butt. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a lot of grinding for those bingo coins, but you'll get there. Because I think I was able to finish it on the very last day. And I was like, ooh, that was close. And then let's take a look at some of the other stuff here. I think I have a max of those trade coins. But in the event, aside from the bingo, you still have this as well too, the exchange. If you have a whole boatload of these sand glass of promise, you could exchange them for sweep tickets. I love sweep tickets. It saves so much time, like so much time. So 13 days, which is two weeks that this event is going on for. And also they added this, the journey preparation. So at the end of the seven day, you're gonna get 50 special summoning tickets. So I need to do mission one still. It takes time to open your egg of authority. So make sure that you grind your, what is it? Either your your advent guys here. I think it's uh, Bargoth that gives you the, the eggs. Let's take a look at the worm. Let's see. 
No, go to Bargoth. Who gives me the eggs? Somebody does. Somebody gives me eggs. Ooh, I got a reward? Yeah, I'll take that. Or was it one of these karma guys here that gives you the eggs? I don't know. It's one of these guys. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. I don't remember. Help me out. Who gives me eggs? I think it's one of the one of those other ones. It's either the realm of lore or your avid guys here that will give you the eggs. I am close. I lied. I said 50, max of 40, so I just need to probably do one or two more of my missions or bosses and I will get the max of the bingo. And what does bingo look like? I'll show you. I'll show you what I can do right now. So let's draw some bingos here. Ooh, look at that. All right, let's keep on drawing. Ooh, hey now. Can I get it? Oh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna go straight up, like vertical bingo. All right, let's keep on doing this. Look at all the fat loot, like legit. This game just gives you a boatload. So if you get a dupe like that, you get this, the B. So it takes you into like, if you get up to seven, it's kind of a pity system. So the pity system will allow you to pick whichever ones that you did not get. So it doesn't hurt, but it does cost you the opportunity of getting something, of course. So let's go ahead and just use a little bit more of our bingo. Just one more. And I got a dupe. Oh boy. So more to go. Super annoying, but you have two weeks. And it's like you could absolutely get it done. So no wor like worries, no stress. Like just make sure you go in every day just farm a little bit use your sweep tickets if you need to or want to and you'll probably get like half of your bingos just from doing your sweep tickets but uh that is it for this update this new patch update as of 526 i think it hit like you know past midnight in eastern standard time so all you uh you know central and pacific standard time you may have gone to uh some of the patch or whatever it is uh, in an earlier start than I did. But that is it for this video. So I hope all is well and everybody staying safe and healthy. And enjoy, you know, the bingo game of just free stuff on top of free stuff. So that is it for now. Peace.